Sanna van Dijk, how's under 78s? <laughs> Not very enjoyable, to be fair. No, very different. So I kind of had to learn, unlearn everything I, uh, I've done for the last 25 years. So uh, yeah, tough going. How different? What, in what way? Well, obviously, I like to go around the back, but with the tall girls, it isn't ideal because I can't really keep the space. So um, kind of had to. Uh, there were a lot of lefties today, so I had to post uh, the arm on the collar the whole time, which is not something I'm very used to doing. So. Yeah. To stop them coming over and, and, and dominating. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Talk us through the day. So you had the number one seed to begin with. How was that fight? And uh, you won, I think you won with that with a strangle. Is that right? Yeah. And so yeah, talk us through the first fight. Uh, so yeah, she was the first seed. So we did a good preparation for her to really make a, a plan. And I think I executed it quite well. It, was fairly, it felt fairly easy, easy and um, I finished it off with a strangle, like you said. Okay, second fight. Uh, second fight, was it the German or was it the... Uh, oh, German, yeah, yeah. Second fight, I fought the German girl. Uh, that's where I found out that going around the back wasn't the way to go. So uh, we kind of had to improvise that a little bit during the fight. So that wasn't the, the prettiest of all, I would say. Semi-final? Semi-final went a lot better. I posted the arm on the, on the collar and could work from there. So to, um, to Marota, no, not Marota, Soda, I think, to Sodas for uh, Wazari, so um, yeah, finished off quite nicely. Well, it felt good going into the final then. Yeah, exactly, you're, you, you're trying out the weight class and you've got as many fights as you could have had and you're in the final. So um, talk us through, yeah, Prodan, she's, she's a tough, tough opponent and it, it looked like a tough fight. Yeah, it was a very tough fight. Yeah, I prepared uh, well, I think, I think we got what we expected, a really tough fight, really had to um, keep myself in the fight which was uh, not easy the whole, whole way through, I think. It really went up and down, so uh, it could have gone either way, really, and um, I'm happy I, I got out on the better end. So has this day given you any more insight into your decision? Uh, it has given me the insight that if I'm going to move up to 78, I do have to um, expand my judo a little bit, because I think with the judo, I get away with it in the 70s because I'm a lot stronger. I don't really get away with it with these girls. So. Um, but I mean, that's exciting as well, because like, you're never done learning, are you? How was it fighting? You had the, the home crowd. Also, what did you think had happened in that last exchange? Because obviously, did you, did you know she'd wrapped it? What do you think had happened? Uh, no, I didn't notice she wrapped it. So I thought they were going to watch either to score it for her or for me. Uh, when I was watching it on the big screen, I, I didn't think they were going to score it for her. So I thought it would, it would be Wazari for me or Hajime. Um, oh yeah, this was fine also. <laughs> Yeah, I finished the fight. <laughs> yeah, I finished the fight and I was, I was done. So uh, that was a good, good uh, time to finish it, I think. So what, what is, uh, what's the plan for you now? How will, what are your next steps? And yeah, how are you going to come to quite a, a big decision? I think we're going to evaluate, watch the videos and then see what, what it is that needs to happen and if that's plausible that like, I can do it or not. And then I'm going to take some rest, see my weight in January and then, um, and then take it from there. Cool. And uh, any any plans for celebration today or in the next couple of weeks? Lots of sleep, I think. <laughs> I need to sleep, yeah. Thank you very much, Anna. Congratulations. Yeah.